thanks for watching my past videos. I'm back at you with a new one, and today I will be introducing you to my two favorite furry friends, Chestnut and Teddy. Chestnut is a Pitbull German Shepherd, though I do have my doubts about the German Shepherd part. Um, and Teddy, he is a cattle dog and Labrador as well too. I got Chestnut about three years ago, and that was when I was living in a basement suite and everything. So back then, I couldn't really adopt a dog from a proper agency because they, they would just say no. And I was being rebellious back then when I was like, you know, 18 and new. I went on Craigslist, I looked on the pet section and I saw a chestnut and he was the first dog I got, I saw. I decided I would have him. <laughs> and yeah, he's been my dog ever since. When I got chestnut at first, he was like this very like shy, submissive dog. And he's still submissive, though he said puberty, so he knows how to be how to defend himself. And for Teddy, I actually just broke up with my ex-boyfriend and I wanted to go on this like whole new adventure where I just get a bunch of new things and upgrade my life and everything. So I joined this fostering program. And at first I got my first foster dog who was um, a slow, tiny old poodle with eye problems, ear problems, and walking problems. Cause I figured since I have such a rambunctious dog, I would foster a slower, smaller dog. And that dog was way too slow for me. So next dog came, I was like, okay, I can go for something that's like younger and a bit bigger. And they gave me Teddy, four month old Teddy and potty trained and everything. But when I first got him, he was so tiny. I could literally carry him like in my arms up here as well. Let's stand up, up here. <laughs> um, and that was when he was like four to six months old and everything. But it was during Christmas and he was only comfortable around me and I have a soft heart, so I adopted him. <laughs> and now he's like this, very big dog. <laughs> uh, one funny story about Chestnut that I have is um, when I went to Tofino with them, huge beach island basically. My friend can throw a ball really good and we found it really cool that he could swim to the ball and everything. <laughs> so yeah, it was fun. We were just throwing the ball into the water and getting him to chase it. Um, basically one time my friend, she threw it way too far. And then the way she like carrying the ball out even farther and farther. And Chestnut was like this tiny little dot in the water, like really far away, right? So we start frantically calling him back and everything. We have a little group on the beach watching us get, a, get our dog back as well too, because they could hear like how frantic we were. And yeah, did the water cut him like running over his head? But he just didn't care. He's a sturdy, strong dog, right? <laughs> so after like three minutes of being in the deep end of the, of the whole ocean and beach and whatever, he gets his ball, comes back, and yeah, everything's fine. But we were pretty nervous when that happened. <laughs> and it was interesting seeing him swim all the way out there as well too. <laughs> and Teddy's funny story. Well, I don't really have one. You know, he's very lazy, he doesn't really do much. Actually, wait, no, I do have one. Um, okay, so I have some dog walkers and they walk both my dogs. Um, and Chestnut's actually a bit reactive as well too. But you know, we already know that we, we handle it and whatever. But anyways, one day my dog walkers, they come back to drop my dogs off and they look sad and glum and I'm like, what's wrong? <laughs> and then they're like, an incident happened. So uh, me, I was thinking Chestnut like, you know, like when, went off and like with somebody or whatever, right? Never happened before, but could happen. Um, and turns out what actually happened was Teddy, um, killed a bunny. <laughs> and when I heard that, I was actually pretty relieved that it wasn't Chestnut that was in trouble. And I almost started laughing, <laughs> cause like I was just so relieved, yeah. No, but he killed a bunny before. Um, luckily it wasn't gruesome or anything. Basically they opened the car door and then he just shot up the car. He stuck his head into a bush and then he came out with a bunny in his mouth. <laughs> That's Teddy's funny story. So yeah, no, I got these dogs um, when they were pretty young. And the reason I love dogs so much is because, um, yeah, I was a single child growing up and my mom didn't want me having any pets at all because she's just a really you know, clean mom and everything. And then once she did, when, when my dad joined in, it was mostly, you know, goldfish or a bird, which was really fun. But I wanted a nice big dog who can walk me on the street. So yeah, as soon as I turned 20, I decided I would get, um, Chestnut. Yeah, so I was so pumped to have my first pet that was an actual big dog because yeah, like I wanted someone to walk on the street with me. I just felt like 
I didn't even feel um, threatened. I just felt awkward walking by myself. Do I speed walk? Do I take my time and like, you know, pace it or whatever? Like, no, I need a dog to give me a reason as to why I'm walking this pace, you know? <laughs> um, and yeah, like I ha I've never had a lot of pets in my childhood life. As soon as I lived alone, I wanted to, do, I wanted to get my first dog. And as soon as my ex gave me the okay, I was like, all right, Craigslist, <laughs> first dog I see. I'm gonna take him home. <laughs> Chestnut was my first dog, and honestly, when I got him, I should have planned out more, you know, as everybody says, hindsight's 2020. And if I knew, I would have gotten like a small poodle or something, you know? But I love him too much, and I am willing to accept the responsibility. So, yeah, no, like right now, I live in a bottom floor apartment, um, and I like it, but I prefer, a, I prefer something off the ground, but. You know, whenever he is in an elevator and it either opens and there's someone outside or even worse, a dog outside, he gets really nervous and anxious and everything. So I can't, you know, have that happening, obviously. Um, you know, I've, I, I've done a lot of dog training, dog boarding and stuff, and we're still going through trainers right now. We're still seeing what works for us, you know. Um, there's also people people, you know, judging you sometimes. I sometimes have a choke collar on Chestnut. You know, I'm thinking of, of doing an e-collar as well too. And people definitely do, you know, like give bad comments once in a while only. But when that happens, they're like, have you tried handling him? <laughs> like you have no idea what you're talking about, you know? Um, but yeah, no, um, I hope this can help you guys relate to something because yeah, I have a reactive dog. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video, guys, and I hope you all enjoyed learning about my dogs who are a bit tired right now. Yeah, make sure you like this video, get my YouTube algorithm up and everything. Leave a comment down below. Tell me about, uh, tell me about a cute or cool dog story you have and everything. Make sure to follow me on all social medias as well. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. So yeah, thank you so much. Mwah, bye! <laughs>